Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. In today's episode, well, I've got all these blocks to upgrade. <laughs> That's the first thing on the plan. And yeah, as you can notice I'm not getting any lag at the moment. Um, I think the game has a memory leak. It only gets bad after the game's been running for a while. Uh, there'll be a lot more of this, basically. I have a lot to do. Also, with Alpha 19 coming out sooner rather than later, I have to get a wriggle on. So there'll be a bit more off-camera work, and I think I'll just record the Horde Knights and basically me screwing away, me screwing around away from the base. Although there will obviously be some building videos when I actually have maybe a bit of that for the other side. I should probably upgrade some of these actually. Um, right, that's that lot. I'll wait for that to dry before I try anything more. Now I have to come around here and go up the stairs. I'm going to have to make a better solution, but yeah, the side still isn't done. It hasn't been started, but that's not a big priority at the moment. I also finally found the loot room. It's not that one. It's over here. And yeah, I'm kind of set up my bed in here. I haven't looted anything yet because I'm not set up for it yet. I'm going to find a spot to stash some. I don't know, maybe up there, put a rock crates or something. And then I'm going to open everything up and have a nice little house. <laughs> Don't even have to do anything, but uh Yeah, hang on, I just gotta Oh yeah, I can actually walk through there now. Oh no. And yeah, this concrete's from me repairing uh the existing bits sticking out of the building. And yeah, this building is actually starting to look a bit more finished um, already because I've been concentrating on getting the outside done. And I just sort of came in and threw all these in. Save the concrete for the bit that matter. Uh, I mean, I have a lot, and I mean a lot of iron, so it's a bit of a time saving to use it all on this. Um, plus, it's lighter, so that helps this building's structural integrity. Um, which isn't great because there's a lot of gaping holes lower down and I do have some work further down the building to do but this is the pressing stuff I want my garage to be weather tight so means I have to at least get this floor done in this episode and there's gonna be some stairs down in here maybe just like a little catwalk or something stairs I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put them yet. Um, we have them working back towards that and then going to the right to... Oh yeah, that's there. Hmm, that may be a challenge. I also realise that it's a long way down through there. And yeah, eventually, once I've got all this sorted, I'll probably widen the ramp to four blocks so I can actually get a jeep up here. At the moment, it's only really suitable for motorbikes. I mean, you can get a Jeep up, but the corners are a bit difficult from past memory. Yeah, this place is looking like less of a wreck already. I mean, it might be the apocalypse, but I don't need to live in a hovel. But yeah. Let's see, so that's that bit done. I'm already getting freaking lag. I'm not sure why, it's only in departure I seem to get it. it might be the high rises. It doesn't help. It doesn't seem to be so bad on the lower floors where you're not always looking out the. Ah, oh, 
God's sake. I'm trying to only do one level of upgrading. And yeah, as I said, I have an abundance of iron from the iron mining I've done. But, you know, cement takes a lot longer to make, so it slows things down quite a bit. So I need to do the windows. I've already put some glass back in. But it's taking a while. Because like everything else, it sort of requires messing around with um, you know, converting rock into sand, although I'm in the desert biome so I have plenty of sand. Especially as I've been looking for oil shale to solve my perennial nearly out of petrol issues. And I found some, so. I haven't done much mining of it yet. That might happen in a later video or I'll just go there off camera and go nuts and have enough to keep me uh, driving to all the way through to Alpha 19 in one crazy digging session. I mean uh, the bullet farm is nearly worked out. I think I've gotten over half of it and this is where all this irons come from. It's just a side effect from the lead and uh, what's the other stuff called? I don't have any in my inventory, do I? But the other stuff you use for making there's the nitrate stuff, potassium nitrate or whatever it is. And I sound like an idiot right now. Yeah, up on the roof, and as as you can see, I've started scrapping all the junk up here as well. So that's another usual useful source of metal. This will be mostly leveled off. Might leave those buildings over there because they sort of fit the place. Um, but I hope to get this done as quickly as possible. Because I want to really try and get this place done by um, Alpha 19. Certainly not as massive a build as my Alpha 17 build, but that was a bit too big. I think it's contributed for my little hiatus I had a while back. So I was just so burnt out from making it. And it's also why I didn't start this back in November. Which is when I originally planned on doing it. Though it might have been something different, because back then I was planning on doing a random gen build wasn't really until after I just couldn't find a good map with this in it. Nice, level 60. I'm really leveling up. And I do think the next episode will probably be me hitting up the trader and you know, I've lugged a lot of stuff down from the farm and I've realized a lot of it was just junk that I was going to sell to the trader anyway. So low tier weapons and tools and all that need to be disposed of. I finally have a farming plot so veggies. Yeah I think I might have to go get some more iron. I have to make more of these rebar frames as well. And I'm pretty much having to cook them back at the farm. So I haven't set up a forge area here yet. There's going to be a couple of forges. I don't really like sleeper zombies that much because of course it makes nesting in a POI a bit harder. So I think they come back after a while. I've got a land claim set up here now so they don't respawn because I got sick of having to purge it in my construction site repeatedly. And let's see, is that bit done? Do I have enough? I'm probably going to run short with one or two bits left. Yeah, see? Yeah, but I'll try that. I'll just end up hurting myself. Should probably punch a hole through there. It would be so much easier, but I don't really want to modify the building too much. 
can you see I've sort of secured this area and I'm probably going to do it up a little right so as you can see I am not hurting for iron I just have to process all of it and get the side sorted out Ooh. I'm probably just going to put the outer shell and maybe this floor in and the floor above. That's the priority and then I'll come down here for a bit more. And I'll start setting up workbenches and that on this level. And then I'll probably get back to finishing off that bridge over the river. Because um, that's not really done yet. I can get across it, that's the important part. It's the only thing that really matters at all, but um, I want to be able to drive across it without falling off in front of everyone. Anyway, that's this bit done. So yeah, this is sort of how construction goes. This is also kind of why I don't usually record it, because just turned into a massive episode of um, oh yeah, I don't have any rebar frames on me I was going to plug that hole hmm, don't know what happened there yeah, I need to go fix some of these windows and maybe put a few doors in I made a bit of a mistake not doing these before I started putting the floor in. And the dumbest way to build I've ever seen. But at least the penthouse is starting to look less of a dump. And it's the apocalypse, I'm going to try and at least live decently. Done so. Let's see where's those cement blocks. And then I can start blazing this when I get my next batch of glass done. That's not a super huge priority, but it'll keep the vultures out. I also still have to paint all of this. I'm not looking forward to that. But as you can see, this place is starting to look up. I might need to stick some detailing in here actually, but that's not a major item. Actually, I think I'll upgrade some of these while I'm at it. Vertibles don't matter so much. Because, um,. They aren't subject to structural integrity issues. It's got a direct shot to the ground, it has maximum structural integrity. So that's all of that done, so I can drop down a level. Should probably put some blocks across just so I can easily get through there. And that was the last of the concrete. Anyway, I think I'll just just give it a bit of a show of what's happened so far. I mean, now I can park multiple vehicles here. So let's see. Just go into easy bug mode and just fly out here. And yeah, the reconstruction started down here at this level, and then I've been working my way back up. As you can see, the building is starting to actually look like a real building again. When you compare it to the other side, which is still a dump. So yeah, that'll start looking nice soon enough. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time in 7 Days to Die.